What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be reviewing my camera, which is the Sony A7 Mark II. I got this camera back in May of 2015, so I've actually had this camera for around two and a half years now. So I thought it would be a good idea to let you guys know if this is still a good camera to buy in 2018. I'm not going to go over all the stats of the camera, but I'm just going to go through and tell you my experience with it and how's it been me using it and shooting with it. So first off, how has the body held up? Not too bad. I love the grip of it. Um, the corners are sort of scratched up all over. And another thing is the screen did not hold up as well. As you can see, I didn't put a screen protector on it and you can see that there's so many scratches on there. The EVF, which is the viewfinder here, is pretty water resistant. I would shoot in the snow and rain sometimes and water would get in and I don't see any side effects of it. I did drop it a couple of times and one time it did mess up the autofocus of it. The camera wasn't speaking to the lens, so I did have to get the mount replaced. But it was under warranty, so I didn't have to worry about that. Next, I would like to talk about the performance of the camera. I love the five axis stabilization. Uh, it is in body, so it really helps, especially when it comes to low light and you can really slow down the shutter. Some of the great cameras I would recommend that are native to this camera would be the 24-70 GM and as well as one of my personal favorites, the 35 1.4 Zeiss. One of the gripes that I have with this camera is that it takes a couple of seconds to turn on, especially when you just switch the batteries. So if I'm out shooting street photography and I need to get that shot right away, it is frustrating when the camera doesn't turn on right away. I love the focus peaking and the EVF and the swivel display. It's really great if you're doing low angle shots or you need to get higher angle shots as well. The buttons are pretty good. It can be more tactile, but they are in a comfortable position and easily accessible. Battery life, I would say I could chew only around three hours continuously. What you can do is either get a battery grip or just be like me and have like six batteries with me at all times. It's recommended to get a wall adapter for your batteries so that you're not plugging into the computer and you can take it wherever you go and you can also use a portable charger to charge your batteries as well. Right now I'm only using Canon lenses and I use the Photo Deox Pro as you can see here that, and I use it primarily with Canon lenses. There are some lenses that don't work such as the Canon 51.4 and the Canon 85 1.4. I've tried both of those and there's no autofocus whatsoever. Other adapters that I do recommend are the Metabones for Canon lenses and Sigma MC11 adapter for all the Sigma lenses. And I will link everything down below in the description. Overall, this is a great camera, especially for people looking to get into the professional scene. One thing I do wish I had more of is the ISO performance. This camera only goes up to 25,600 ISO. For example, the Sony a6300, which is a popular camera for video, actually goes up to 50,000 ISO. If you're looking to get this camera, I highly recommend it. It's a great camera and a good value as well. And you can find one used for probably less than $1,500. Please remember to subscribe, like, and comment if you have any questions. I will be sure to answer those right away. Thanks.